Welcome to Settle 3D version 4, tutorial 16. In this tutorial, we will be expanding on the multiple boreholes tutorial and modeling a non-horizontal ground surface and soil profile. To begin, open Settle 3D. We will begin by modifying the project settings. Click on the project settings icon. In the general tab, set stress units to metric, stresses kilopascals, and settlement units to meters. Select the soil profiles tab. Select non-horizontal layers, check the non-horizontal ground surface checkbox, and leave surface interpolation as tin triangulation. Click OK to close the dialog. To assign soil properties, select the Define Soil Properties icon. For each of the first three materials, turn on Immediate Settlement. Change the primary consolidation material type to Linear. Enter data for the first three material types as follows. Turn on immediate settlement for the fourth material type. Set the primary consolidation soil type to nonlinear. Enter data as follows. Once finished, click OK. For this tutorial, we will specify four boreholes. Select the Add Borehole icon. Insert three layers below. Set the first layer to sand fill with a thickness of 3, set the second to silty sand with a thickness of 5, set the third to dense silty sand with a thickness of 10, and set the fourth to silty clay with a thickness of 12. Keep the first borehole location at coordinate 00. zero. Set the top elevation to 3. Select the Add Borehole icon to add three boreholes. Set their locations and thicknesses as follows. Click OK once completed. Double click on the 3D view to maximize it, then zoom in and rotate the model to view the soil strata. Double click again to minimize it, then right click and select Reset View. We will now add a load to our model. Select the Add Circular Load icon. Change the bottom elevation to 4 meters. Keep all other values as default and click OK to close the dialog. Specify the load location by entering coordinates 25, 10, and then enter. With the non-horizontal ground surface option, two field point grids can be defined. The field point grid, which is a standard rectangular grid, and non-horizontal field points for the 3D surface contour. Select the auto field point grid icon. Keep all default values, then click OK. The contours will only be shown in areas where there is ground. Turn off the field point grid by deselecting the field point grid checkbox in the view controls. Click on the toggle non-horizontal field points icon. The total settlement surface contour will be shown. This concludes the non-horizontal ground surface tutorial. Click here for more details or here for more tutorials.